second segment is going to be called the 530 grid. And that is the DNA for business, the DNA for business. And again, our topic today is converting prospects faster. So we're going to see that once we have this idea of who we're talking to by asking these questions and finding out the personalities, is that now we've got to know what to do with them once we've got that done. Now, Rosanna Borsma is um, in charge of the Awesome Women's Group, and she has this call that's on Tuesdays. And what time is that again, Rosanna? Actually, it's on Mondays, and it's at 11.30 uh, Central Time. Mondays, 11.30 Central Time. And anybody can uh, can hop on there? Anyone, yes. In fact, Excellent. we've even had some men that have jumped on it just to check it out. Outstanding, outstanding. Well, Rosanna, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much uh, for preparing what you've got today. We can't wait to hear it. So without any further ado, Rosanna, go ahead and take it away with DNA for Business. Okay, so last month we talked about converting the prospects to clients. And if you missed that se session, you can still gain benefit from it by listening to the rebroadcast. Now, we need to step up our game. So getting these prospects to say yes faster, or so we say convert prospects faster. Now, what does that look like? What do you want it to look like? Well, one, you need to know your prospect. You need to do, to do this, you need to ask the key questions. And what are those key questions that we ask? Um, with all the things going on in your life, what would you say is the biggest challenge that you are facing in any area of your life? You know, the biggest challenge in people's lives is equal to their pain. And if you can get to that, you can understand your prospect a whole lot better, which helps you to go ahead and get to what they need faster. Um, you need to tighten things up when you're talking to people. Don't get sidetracked. Stick to the subject at hand. You know, just another question that you might ask is, what would you love help on? Um, what do you think you would like to change about yourself? These are questions that get to know the person a little bit better. And as Cheryl um, suggested in the last segment, you know, you've got to know their personality. You've got to know what they're thinking and how they're thinking. Do they want to get through this, this call or this uh, segment that they're talking to you? Do they want to get it through it faster? Or do they want to really know what they're doing? Or do they want to go ahead and know all the details? Or, you know what, they don't have a lot of time. Let's just get through it. So you need to know their personality. You need to figure that out in a, a faster way. So there's quick questions to ask, as Cheryl has noted, or even just their demeanor and how they're talking to you. It's always very important to know that when you are communicating with a prospect that's going to possibly be a client, which you're in your thought process, when you do that, you want to say they're going to be a client, even you know, if that doesn't happen. You just have to think that. Um, how do you know that you're converting these prospects faster? How do you know that? What is, what is it that you do? And that is where you track 100% of your leads. If you are even looking at the 530 grid that's on the screen, you'll note that one of the, one of the boxes is tracking 100% of your leads. And that is, you know, is it a spreadsheet? Is it a custom um, a customer relationship manager system, as they see the CRSM system? Um, you track the leads that are coming in. You track what they do. You track um, how fast it takes them to say yes or to say no or to say maybe. And how do you turn that maybe faster into a yes? So you need to shorten the sales cycle. You need to ask questions. And, you know, if it's possible, tell them a story about, you know, someone that actually made a decision faster. Because they made the decision faster, they saved money. And so you want to make sure that you're ready with a, a story of some sort that makes them think. You want to also mention their biggest challenge again and again to push them towards making a decision. Uh, if, they know, if they're seeing their biggest challenge, like one of them is uh, – that they're putting things off, they're uh, procrastinating. Okay, I see you're procrastinating. I see you're doing what you're, you're challenged with. How about if we help you work on that to get it faster and to push them towards making a decision? You know, you maybe have them watch a short video. It's representing the product that you're talking about. And that video can be as quick as a minute. You know, you need to know your... Um, you need to know what you're selling. You need to know your product very well, and that makes sure that you're not that you're ready with an answer. And if you don't know the answer, 
that you go ahead and say, you know, give me some, give me a chance to think about that, and I'll get back with you, so that you're not uh, just filling out stuff that might not make sense to them. Um, be curious about your prospects. Always be attentive to them. Their needs, their pain. There's the biggest challenge again. What they will have help on. Make sure you have their frequency, their personality in mind. And as Cheryl talked about talking about talking about them. Teach the, you know. Start with a small sale. Win. Maybe you know it's just a small thing like um, maybe suggesting that they uh, check out the videos that you have or get on a conference call that you are running and and get them involved if they're just kind of on the fence about what they want to do. Um, when you're dealing with all the things that you have to deal with in the business, you want to make sure that you have the three things and thought, pro thought processes through. You want to know the personality. You want to know your business. You want them to feel like you know your, their business in their, your business also. You, you have your system set up so that you're always ready to put their name somewhere, to go ahead and make sure that you don't lose them when you call them and you say, they say, oh, call me back in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm kind of busy. And if you can't get them to turn over, do make sure you call them back in a couple of weeks. Don't, you know, just put it down and say, oh, they're never going to, you know, go, so let's just put them on the side. Always make sure you're tracking that. Make sure you put them exactly where you said you're going to call them in a couple of weeks. Make a note of that so that you're always tracking what you're doing. These type of things are very important when you're making the sale and when you're connecting with clients and prospects. Always have a uh, you know, system ready for these people. Uh, when you have people call, you want to make sure that you write your name, their name, their phone number, their email address. Because and always check and verify what they say. You know, if they write it down, make sure that you verify it because one number off can help, you know, you can lose the sale and then you're and then it's gone. And you may never be able to connect with them again because you don't have the right information. So always make sure you have the exact information. A business card's awesome. Um, you can have them write it down, verify it, but always make sure you have something there. In in our in a business you want to have know the personalities, the DNA for people. And you want to know your business, the DNA for business. You want to know the 530 grid. If you can see it on the screen and you want to more information about that, please, please feel free to ask about that because that is just, it works so well for any company, any business, any connections of any sort, uh, nonprofit or profit. And we have another segment that's coming up, the DNA for life. All those things work together. And I think it's kind of like a symphony, that all the instruments, they work together to make beautiful music. And if you have all three of them in hand, you are going to go ahead and convert those prospects faster. And that is what I have to say. Any wow. questions? That was fantastic. Thank you so much, Roseanne. I really appreciate you doing that. And thank you so much for tying that into converting prospects faster. What do you think is the single greatest thing? Well, let me do this. Is there anybody that has a question for Rosanna? We have time for one or two questions. So it sounds like, Rosanna, that you have to be really intentional with creating a system. That would be true. That, yes, you always should have something. I mean, you may not have it right with you when you're out talking to somebody. So you always should have something to write something down. Always make sure that you're really intentional when you're talking to people to get their biggest challenge because that is your open door. Hmm. Oh, so I have a question. So Go ahead. When you, so especially for the analytic personality, I would say from your presentation, you know, one of the big things is making, you know, putting in the work to make sure your system is in place. So that's great for the analytic, but you know, to make sure to sitting down and looking at those details and making sure that it gets done, it may not seem like a priority to the other personalities. So what advice would you give for that to make sure that it gets done? One, I would suggest that they find somebody with them that is analytical or somebody that is very precise in what they do. That would be one option. The other one would be to make sure that at least you have um, some sort of way to connect to the people. Um, definitely a phone number, an email, um, 
even if you're not analytical, you do, you know, you want to know that information. So it's very important. Write it down if you have to, and then later you can put it wherever you have to do it in your system. But always make sure that you have that direct connection and you're, you're ready for connecting with the person. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.